Good morning. Thanks for joining me today. Let's walk and let's get healthier, okay? We're going to start slowly. Just took a great big swig of water, so I'm ready to go. Hope you had that too. Hope you have on your comfortable walking shoes. Have a chair close by. Going to warm up. I'm going to try to be a little bit more consistent with my warm up. Sometimes I get excited about walking and I start going a little faster than I should. So we're just going to warm up, get that oxygen going, that blood flowing. Shake out our hands a little bit. We're going to be using a lot of arms today. Kick, very low kicks, very good. This morning would be a great time to go for a walk outside. It's going to be a little bit too warm to go later in the afternoon. That's when I'm going to be on the golf course. You know, I'm not a, a good sun person. I don't like being out in the hot, but I do like golf. So I'm going to be doing that later. And hopefully I'll get some walking in on the golf course as well. And walk, walk, walk again. Let's go heel, heel, heel. Heel, heel, heel. Shaking those hands out a little bit. A couple more. And back to walking. Let's do some side steps. One, one. You're breathing in and out. The only time you should hold your breath is when you're underwater. Otherwise, you should be breathing everything you do. And walk, walk, walk. Let's do some little twists. Keep your hands kind of low. Again, it's just the warm up. Looked up some statistics, and um, most interesting, too, were that only 22% of the adults in the United States actually participate 30 minutes five days a week in any exercise, 22%. Fewer than a fourth of the adults in the United States. And 25% of adults, that's a quarter of the adults in the United States, live a very sedentary life. They do not move. And we wonder why we are one of the unhealthiest nations. Let's do some light little leg lifts here. <clears throat> you don't have to go too high. So it's like preaching to the choir. You're here this morning or whenever you tune in. And hopefully it's not just to you know, glance and then move on. But you're here to actually be one of those who will participate. You can turn this on any day of the week you want to. Five days a week would be great. We move for almost 30 minutes. Say, let's walk. And get out of that 22%. Let's raise that a little bit higher. Yes, a lot of what ails us is because we don't move. Let's do some out, out. Now 
And the nice thing, no matter what your current fitness level is, some of us really, we get hung up on the numbers on the scale. And we say, oh, my heel hurts, mine does. Um, no matter where we are, what our fitness level is, we can improve our fitness and our health by moving. And walking is the overall best way for the majority of people. You have to keep that in mind. Moving is so important. Let's go down and up. Down and up. Down. Up. Not going all the way up right now. more. I'm going to speed up a little bit. I think we're nice and warmed up. Right about now, the tempo would change if we had some music. So, I guess maybe I'll talk faster. Actually, working out to music, walking to music is, is great. If you have music on that you like, then you concentrate more on that music on what you're doing. And you forget, gee, I'm tired of doing this. There are too many reps for this. So, gee, there are so many pounds that I'm lifting here. The music will distract you enough. It doesn't want to keep you from concentrating on the correct form, but it distracts you so you don't think, oh, when is this going to be over? Still a little higher kicks now. Breathe in, breathe out. Can't provide you with the music. Apologize for that. That's why I'm trying to throw in these little healthy fun facts and maybe they'll apply to you. Maybe you say, hey, I already know that. And then that means you're on the right track if you already know it, especially if you're working out, if you're exercising every day. Today might be a great day to go for a bike ride. Walk down the driveway even, and walk, walk, walk. Okay, let's go here, out. As I said, I'm going golfing today. I've got to get my arms warmed up. This walking is all about me. Hopefully you'll benefit too. Good, just for picking up kids. Working in the yard, strengthening those arms. Down, up, down, up. Sometimes you may get up in the morning, you feel tired. You say, gee, I'll feel better after have that coffee. That little jolt of caffeine. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't know what that jolt would be. But all the science points to exercise. It's a bigger pick-me-up. Exercise gives you more energy than sitting will. You say, I'm just going to sit here. I'm too tired. You'll be more energized if you get up and move. You'll be more energized, moving rather than drinking a cup of coffee. So keep that in mind. You're moving, you get the blood flowing, the energy, the oxygen moving through your body. More energy. Side. We're only about 10 minutes into that. And I've given you all my fun facts for the day. A couple more of these. And go back to walking. Let's do some leg lifts. Remember, if there's something you can't do, 
Now, feeling uncomfortable with your balance, hang on to the chair. Bring your legs up as high as you can. And you say, I just can't do that. Then just go back to walking. Just keep walking. Keep those feet moving. Breathing in and out. Walk, walk, walk. Okay, I think I told you a while back that moving sideways is actually better when you're trying to exercise than moving forward. Because this is something we do all the time. But moving sideways, we really have to think. Get those arms going now. Two steps to each side. Pull in. Notice I'm breathing out. Shoulders are back. Heads up. I keep my back and shoulders relaxed. Last one. Walk, walk, walk. Okay, let's go for a brisk walk now. Again, if this pace is a little bit too fast for you, slow down. Go at your own pace. Keep moving. Okay, let's do some sides again. A little bit faster than we did before. Shoulders back, head up. Four. Three. Two, one, and walk, walk, walk. We're going to do some heels, then toes, and then we're going to do heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel. Get those arms up. Just heels right now. Again, I'm trying to move that waist. Move that middle around a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to go to toes. One. Keeping arms going, I'm not going back with them. I'm still going to this side. Going back, it's a little bit more difficult. Don't want this to be difficult. Four, three, two, one. We'll go heels, 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 toe, toe, heel. Heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Please say it along with me. It helps you remember. Heel, heel, toe, toe. 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 Four. Three, two, one. Back to walking. Okay, we're going to put those arms down and up. Head up. 
look out, smile, say, this is really fun today. It's nice and cool in my house. Getting a lot more energy. Getting motivated to go out and do something a little bit more energetic this afternoon. You can call the good things for this. Arms up and back, back. Still don't think I'm ready for the sleeveless shirt today, even though the sun may feel like I should. Got my 30 sunscreen, my hat. Lather myself and have a good time on the golf course. And two, one, and I guess we're gonna kick. I was going to go back to walking, but I just got excited about kicking here. Kicking up my heels. I want to remind you the next Wednesday at 12 o'clock, we're going to have a lunch and learn. And we're going to do a tour of Premier Fitness. And you're going to see different people working, you're going to see trainers, <coughs> members, we're going to talk about what we have going on. So please tune in and walk, walk, walk. That's 12 o'clock next week, next Wednesday. You can tune in at 10 walk with me tune in at 12 and then you can tune in later for Julie and maybe even Kristen <clears throat> okay back back this feels good you know I kick back so I always feel good Head up, shoulders back. Loose, following proper posture. <clears throat> Usually takes about 12 weeks of a committed routine to start maybe losing a little weight, changing your um, figure, 12 weeks. I don't think we've been doing it this long, but it should be coming up on 12 weeks. And if we're consistent, maybe we'll see a little bit of change. And walk, walk, walk. The clock in here is looking. It's a little bit slow, so I apologize for looking at my watch. I want to make sure we have time for that cool down. But it's not time yet. Remember, keep your head up. Don't be looking down. That'll make you a little bit dizzy. Okay, one more, and then arms up. Back, back. A lot of repetition. But we repeat the things that are good for us. Keeping our arms up, keeps that heart rate up just what we want when we're exercising. Couple more, and down. We're going to do some more to the side. too much for you to do this with your arms. Put your arms at your side. Just keep your feet moving. Couple more. 
walk, walk, walk. Not quite done with the heart rate being up there. We do some leg lifts. We're gonna twist that waist more to the side. Again, you can't do it, modify it with what works for you. And if you're really tired, sit in the chair and keep your feet moving. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And walk, walk, walk. Slow down just a little bit. <clears throat> Kicks. We're not going to get our arms above our heart now. We're going to keep blowing out. Feeling good. Knees. much walking on the course this afternoon. Kick. And walk. Let's do some side steps. One, two. Keeping those arms low. Remember, if you're setting goals, today is the day where your fitness starts. Today is the day, not yesterday, not two weeks ago, not tomorrow, but today. And you're on your way. Back to walking. Let's do some heels, nice and easy. Trying to slow it down. And let's do some back kicks. Check it off. You know, if you notice, they've been trying to farmers walk, that heel is not improving. Can walk okay, but please don't do anything bad on injures you. It's the last thing we want. Okay, that's a pretty good workout, I think. Let me see. Start at 220 and it's 5,090. So we did over 3,000 steps, which is very good. All right, let's go up. And down. Up. And down. Breathe in. Exhale. Let's go down. Stay back straight. Shoulders up. Head up. Turn, lean into that front foot, feel that stretch in the back calf, and then work out any little kinks. Cool down is so important. Some of you say, okay, we're done walking, turn, turn it off. No, I, I'd like to know that you are doing this. Very important, that way tomorrow, Later today, you won't be sore. You will have worked things out. Come up. This time I want you to reach for the sky. Try to get up there. 
and then back down. Thank you for being here today. Have a great rest of the week. Have a great weekend. I'll see you bright and early Monday. Keep moving.